In April 2024, a pre-publication paper on the Shredney Stog culture was announced by a team of geneticists at Harvard. The announcement gained significant attention, especially among alternative right history enthusiasts. The pre-pub challenged previous notions on the origins of the Yamnaya and Russia steppe beaker populations. Scholars with left-leaning perspectives in history and anthropology have sought to establish connections between the origins of the earliest Europeans and regions in the Middle East. Definition. Take note, CLV is simply the abbreviation for Caucasus Lower Volga. Also, Shredny Stog has multiple spellings. David Reich, a prominent geneticist at Harvard, has made significant contributions to our understanding of ancient human DNA and population history. The paper has since been published. Co-authors include Reich, David Brown, and Yosef Lozaridis. The paper seems to suggest a shift of sorts for many of these geneticists, including Reich. According to Reich et al., the new point of origins for the Indo-Europeans is north of the Caucasus. Key findings of Volga Klein was formed as lower Volga people mixed with upriver populations. CLV people bearing both Caucasus, Neolithic, and lower Volga ancestry moved west and acquired hunter-gatherer ancestry. Continuing, they established the Sredni Sti culture from which the direct ancestors of the Yamnaya themselves were formed 4000 BCE. Summary, we thus propose that the final unity of the speakers of Proto-Indo-Anatolian ancestral language of both Anatolian and Indo-European languages can be traced to CLV Klein people sometime between 4,400 and 4,000 BCE. Sredni Stog to Yamnaya. Tom Rousel has an MA from the University College of London. He specializes in medieval cultures. He has a large following on X and YouTube. As Rousel noted on X, this largely refutes the so-called Southern Arc theory of darker-skinned Persians ancestral to later Indo-European populations. Quote, Shredni Stog theory vindicated as the ancestors of Yamnaya. Reich walks back the south of the Caucasus stuff, end quote. Tom Rousel. Persian origins for Indo-Europeans largely debunked. Prior to publication of this paper, scholars attributed nearly all Indo-European origins to south of the Caucasus, Persia and Anatolia. Example, this paper published in 2014, the phylogenetic and geographic structures of Y-chromosome haplotype R1A. Based on spatial distributions and diversity patterns within R1A to M420 clade. Continuing, the basal branches detected primarily within Iran and eastern Turkey, we conclude that the initial episodes of haplogroup R1A diversification likely occurred in the vicinity of present-day Iran. The people of the Caucasus Lower Volga. Aopedia, tribes belonging mainly to the paternal haplogroup R1A, reportedly occupied the north of the steppes. Also C4A, H1B, various K, U, and several I subclades. Paper 2009, separating the post-glacial co-ancestry of European and Asian Y chromosome within haplogroup R1A. Here we present frequency and haplotype diversity estimates for more than 2,000 R1A chromosomes assessed for several newly discovered SNP markers that introduce the onset of informative R1A. Continuing, its primary frequency and diversity distribution correlates well with some of the major Central and East 
European river basins where settled farming was established before it spread. Physical Traits of the Yamnaya Rousel on X, April 28, 2024. Yamnaya people were large and powerfully built. Their genes surviving in modern Estonians are associated with greater strength and wider frames. The Caucasus Lower Volga appears to be a likely origin spot of lighter skin tones and even blue eyes. Not all Yamnaya were pale skinned and blonde haired, but there is evidence that about 25% of the Yamnaya Klein had lighter hair color and blue eyes. Razib Khan is a geneticist from Austin. His politics are center right. He is also a close friend and colleague of world renowned geneticist Spencer Wells. On a recent episode of Antiquities on YouTube, Razib confirmed ancestors of the Yamnaya were lighter skinned. Quote Sintashta culture, they invented the light board chariot. I pulled their DNA. You would probably call them white, but mostly dark hair and only 25% of them had blue eyes. End quote. DanDavisAuthor.com The people of the Sintashta culture were Bronze Age chariot warriors of the Northern Steppes, a people who changed the world. Continuing, highly patriarchal and warlike, there are also bronze workers who built huge fortified settlements like Archaeum east of the Ural Mountains. Pastoralism Study Human Adaption in the Northern Pontic Steppe, June 2010 the Neolithic population was engaged in animal husbandry and early agriculture, hunting and fishing. Continuing, the beginning of the early Iron Age in the Pontic Steppe, Shredni Stog, its economy is characterized as nomadic cattle herding with winter camps along the Black Sea coast. From The Conversation 2015, Ancient DNA reveals how Europeans developed light skin and lactose tolerance. Yamnaya were particularly important in the spread of both early Bronze Age technologies and genetics. Continuing, with technologies including the horse and the wheel, they exploded out of the Russian and Ukrainian steppes into Europe where they met the local Neolithic farmers. Continuing, the cultures with this mutation for lactose tolerance were the Yamnaya and their descendants. These results suggest that the mutation may have originated on the steppe and entered Europe with the Yamnaya. There is some dispute among historians and other scholars as to when lactose tolerance first developed. Science.org 2015 Lactose tolerance was still rare among Europeans and Asians at the end of the Bronze Age just 2,000 years ago. What is clear is that pastoralism significantly contributed to the western expansion of the Russian steppe, Beaker peoples. Science.org Nomadic herders from the steppes of today's Russia and Ukraine brought their culture and languages with them and made a relatively recent and lasting imprint on the genetic makeup of Europeans. Legacy of the Yamnaya As Johannes Krauss often points out in lectures, modern Europeans are admixed with 50% Russia steppe beaker, 40% Anatolian farmer, and 10% hunter-gatherer. In a 2015 paper, the Wright team outlined probable roots of genetic admixture. Massive migration from the steppe 
was a source for Indo-European languages in Europe. Paper, Western and Eastern Europe came into contact 4,500 years ago as late Neolithic corded ware people with 75% of their ancestry to the Amnaya documenting a massive migration into the heartland of Europe. Continuing, this steppe ancestry persisted in all sampled Central Europeans until at least 3,000 years ago and is ubiquitous in present-day Europeans. Quote, we estimate that around 75% of the ancestry of the corded ware people in Germany came from a population related to the Yamnaya people who were steppe pastoralists from Russia expanding westward. End quote. Josef Lazaridis. Genetic Legacy of Expansion of Yamnaya Herders Across Europe. Anthropology.net. The Yamnaya traversed vast distances alongside their livestock, leaving an enduring imprint that reshaped Europe. The Yamnaya's cultural and genetic influence was profound. BBC 2015, the Yamnaya transformed the gene pools of Northern and Central Europe, such that some populations like Norwegians owe around 50% of their ancestry to the steppe pastoralists. Bronze Age to Iron Age During the emergence of the steppe culture, the Yamnaya started crafting tools and weapons from bronze. DanDavisAuthor.com 2020 Late Proto-Indo-Europeans, Yamnaya culture was an early Bronze Age culture of the Pontic Steppe, dating to 3300 to 2600 BC. The Bronze Age lasted from about 3000 BCE to 1100 BCE. It was followed by the Iron Age to 300 BCE. During the Iron Age, kingdoms emerged and these would later give rise to the great European peoples. The Gauls, the Britons, the Celtic people, and the Norsemen. Thank you for watching. Bienvenido a todos de ustedes. Muchísimas gracias por todo. Hasta la próxima vez. Nos vemos. Bienvenue a toutes les personnes. Je parle beaucoup le français. Je suis la vie vers votre connaissance. À la prochaine fois. Bienvenuti a toute la gente. Posso parlare molto di italiano. Molte grazie per tutto. Andiamoci. Arrivederla.